Hello, everybody. How are you guys? Hey, good evening, Miss. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today, guys? Good. Kind of, but good. Good. What about you? How do you feel about the cough that you had yesterday and your voice? Oh, yes. Uh, the thing is that uh, I have had, you know, like cough <laughs> since yeah. the last, since Thursday, I remember. And yes, I went to the doctor on Friday. Yeah, yeah. I have class. And the problem is that on Saturday, I have a class from oh, five hours class. And imagine yeah. that I was talking five hours. And, I, and because it's presential. I mean, you is is virtual. You don't speak too loud. Exactly. But when you are in a classroom, imagine twenty four people there. I was yelling, and it was eleven o'clock. From eleven to twelve is the last hour with them. I was yeah. just speaking like this. I I didn't have the voice. So then, yeah, because you have not rest enough. That's right. Voice. Now I feel much better. Believe me, I feel like. You you see the difference, right? You can breathe. You can breathe. <laughs> yeah, you can you can notice the difference between with my poison, everything is bad. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. a little bit clearer, right? Exactly. <laughs> Yesterday it wasn't that way, but today you you sounds very good. So that's okay. That that's... means that I can go to a party tomorrow and there is no problem. Oh, okay. If you say so and you have energy, <laughs> that's good. That's the same way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you know what? This is my first time in the whole year, no, the last, no, in, in two years or one year. Uh, the last Saturday, they invite me to go out because you know, it was, uh, no, uh, it was something, uh, something that why we have to go out, like an activity mm -hmm. or a party or something. And I say, no, I'm sorry, I need to sleep. Well, but if you have energy enough to say yes, at least, that's good. That's <laughs> Even good. the only request is not to jail, right? <laughs> I mean, if you don't have to jail, even uh, some some alcohol maybe can uh, can help you because of the hot of uh -huh. the beverage. I mean, not to get wrong, but at least you know a little bit. Actually, something that you don't know about me is that I don't drink alcohol. <laughs> okay, I mean, maybe a drink, not a beer. No, actually, actually, I'm addicted to the Coca Cola. When if I go to a party, always you're gonna see me with a cup or cup, oh, oops, or Coca Cola all the time. I'm a oh. Coca Cola lover. Well, so if you see me like woohoo, it's because of the Coke. Or Coca Cola <laughs> for the Coca Cola, just oh, okay, okay, no, but not because of the, <laughs> like, the Coke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That's why sometimes you see I I turn off the camera because I'm. <laughs> no, no, no. I know, I know, I know. You, you don't. You're not kind of person like that. That's okay. And suddenly you see me with the red eyes. No, no, no. The red the... eyes is because I'm Mary Jane. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. How do you know, girl? Hmm. Maybe once, uh, but I didn't like it at all. I mean, it's the only hard draw kind of that I have uh tried sometimes. Uh -huh. Um, well, I did it once. Of course, I I I, I got the symptoms. <laughs> I feel high and maybe happy, you know. Uh -huh. But after that, the down feeling it wasn't good. So I promised myself to not do that again. Never, never. Because I didn't like, of course, you like the way that you feel high and you feel happy and you I smile. Just a moment. Yeah, it's just a little moment, you know, and you can uh, taste um, uh, more strong, some uh, some stronger? flavors. Uh -huh. Yeah, stronger, some, some flavors, but um, it's not good at all. I mean, 
I know people who, who usually smoke that, you know, and it's illegal at least here. But I got friends uh, from another countries that they usually do that and it's a lifestyle. And I did it once, but I didn't recommend to any anyone, even if it's just to have some moment of happiness and whatever, it doesn't matter. I mean, everyone can do whatever they want. But um, no, I, I never would really do that, that again. Definitely no. no. Actually, it's a good debate, debate topic. It's a good debate topic. Actually, and also alcohol. I used to have, uh, I used to drink alcohol uh, in my younger years. I mean, I'm not really How old are old. you? How old are you? <laughs> I'm 20 years, actually. Are you 20 uh, years old? Me. Yeah, 20 years. <laughs> Do I look younger? Uh, no, no. I think I, 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 no, I might like 21, something like that. No, 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 Betty. I just, because, I because, just, um, because the way that you Betty, speak, you speak like a somebody like adult. <laughs> Even though I speak like a younger, I don't speak like an adult, but you do. Yeah, it's because some I'm some sure. experiences, but also it's it's the same as you with the alcohol. I I did it sometimes, um, in the past years, you know, mm -hmm. but I had enough. You know, nowadays I just can have a, a one um, wine, uh, um, I mean, glass of wine, mm -hmm. and that's it. But I cannot handle more than that because mm -hmm. I don't like it. It's not my lifestyle anymore. And also it's because uh, alcohol can, can, if you take it or you drink it in a bad mood, you're going to stay there, you know, because it can make you feel better. Yes. At least in my case, it makes me feel like high and happy. I don't know why, but all the time. And I don't cry. I don't get angry. Um, I'm not the kind of person who is like mal trago. No, I'm not that kind. <laughs> drunk, right? See, uh, but uh, it's something that I, I'm not interested in anymore. Uh -huh. No, but so you know I, what? I want to say thank you because you shared your experience. So, some people... I think that they try to hire, uh, to hide. I'm sorry, their about their life. Like no, I, I I didn't do it. Maybe and they did it. So I really appreciate that you are honest, transparent, and you say it about you, because I know that sometimes is, as you said, it's an experience that is a suggestion for somebody else, not to exactly. do it or not to or to try or not to try it. Uh, exactly. Because it's the only way, believe me or not, when you are younger, you say there is a typical like re, a phrase in Spanish that said, El que llega viejo, no, wait, what is it? El, el que no, el que no sigue consejo no llega viejo. And believe me or not, it's, it's true. It's exactly. True. It's simple. Yeah, I mean, it's you don't have to have a bad experience to learn some lessons you can see others life and lifestyle to see how the life it goes if you uh if you follow that path That's so right. um, no, i mean you don't want to listen and suggestion is up to you and i'm sorry exactly. for some of you but that's right exactly. because exactly. in my case uh, actually and i'm gonna share this maybe uh, well in we're gonna go to the break about breakout rooms and then you can share more but let me uh, tell you something in the past, I told you that I, I work for a cosana, right? Many times, yes, teacher, we know that story. But something that you don't know is that when I was in the, well, it was in 2020, 21, after the pandemic, I suffered one problem that I have, I mean, the pressure to be, well, when I was in the pandemic, it was my first time in seven years that I spent time with my family in that way. I first time that I was chilling out, that I had the opportunity to sleep all the day if I wanted, to talk with my mom that I hardly ever used to do because the time I used to work 14 hours a day, four hours in the morning teaching and 10 hours at night as, as a call center. So 14 hours and in the traffic, one and basically I was outside. I left my, my, my house at, for example, at 6, 6.30 a.m. And I returned to my house at 12 p.m. 
Yeah. A.M. Basically, the next day. So because I was working, and in the pandemic, when I realized there was a life that was I was workaholic. There was a life outside the that kind of situation. It was terrible for me when I returned to the job. So you know, when you are in the call center, you are all the time in the, the same place. And what I started to suffer some anxiety and uh, claustrophobic, claustrophobia. Yeah, claustrophobia, anxiety. And actually I have like blood pressure super high. I went to the doctor every week because I, even it though- It is a bit stress. Yes, it, it was, I, I made all of the tests with the doctor. I went to the subwoofer. I went to a private and I went to the uh, to the clinic in the in the place over there. And they all of them say, "Hey, you are getting crazy. It's psychological, because the test was perfect. All of the tests were pe perfect. So it means that was psychological. And one of the worst parts is that one day I suffered like a kind of heart attack. It was I, I felt super bad. It was like a lot of anxiety." And I was, do you see this, the spots? The spots are when you see like some lights and things like that. And at that moment, they get, I said, I need to go out. And I went out of the place. I went to the parking lot. And you know what? Typically in the parking lots, there are people selling uh, uh, cigarettes. Exactly. I don't yeah. smoke. I don't at like least, smoke. At least in a call center. Yes. So when I was, I sat down on the floor, I lay down on the floor and I was in this, in this mood. In my, in my mind, in that mind is like, try to get one cigarette, please. That you will light it, you need it. My mind, my, in my body was like this. And I, there was two girls. I'm and I, I'm in my mind, well, one, just one. You don't like smoking, but try it one time. One time is nothing. Believe me, I was in this position. I was very near to the girls, and and very near to the to the sellers of the of the cigarettes. And, my, and I was like, I need to try it. And in that moment, fortunately, I said, No, I need to control myself. I need to control my anxiety. I can't do it. Mm -hmm. And that day, I took the decision to quit the job because I said I have been eight years working at Consenera. Eight years that I don't drink because of the people. I don't smoke because of the people. It was my, I don't care, have anything against people who smoke or drinks. So just I say that, um, that it was my personal opinion about that. But that's the level of anxiety that you get sometimes for any reason, but you can get a higher level. So wow. that's sure. my, my point sure. of view. Uh -huh. Yes. Sure. Uh I, I would like to, to, to say something about that. Uh -huh. <laughs> so sometimes, many times we, we tend to understand that anxiety is just feel the, a feeling of inquietude in the present. Mm -hmm. But this is the, the, the common idea of anxiety. Anxiety, yes. Anxiety, sorry. Uh, oh. But um, anxiety as a, as a mental illness, as a, as a, as a mental issue, has to, to relate it to ideas to the future, not you are feeling in that moment. Um, an example, when you think in negative about the future and you believe that the future is negative, you, are, um, you may be uh, experience anxiety. Mm -hmm. right. and, and it's very important to detect on time when you feel this, this feeling of in non quietude, or, or I don't know how to say it, inquietude. Mm, that's a good question. I think that's inquietude. I don't know. Let me uh -huh. let me non Google it. Somebody... And, and and because every everything starts with that when you concern. Don't... I have anxiety concern. On anxiety. Rest. Con yeah, concern is more used to preocup preoccupation. Or Get, worry. Like mm -hmm. Get worrying. Get uh worrying. -huh. Mm -hmm. uh, I consider that um, everything starts in that point where you feel that in your present, you don't feel okay. And instead of that, you just you, you start thinking about a lot of things. After a, a time, you start to think about the future. 
about your future and about your future until build that I, a, a big idea of your a dark about a, a dark future. And That's after right. that, um, um, it's a huge problem if you don't detect on time that the problem because it can can try to do a lot of things in in like some uh, behaviors irresponsible, mm -hmm. irresponsible irresponsible behavior, uh -huh. responsible behavior like uh, drink a lot smoke a lot um to do something that you may don't want but you need to feel like you are you you will be uh, better after after that moment because right. that some some behaviors provide you some um feedback that you are okay in example when you drank a lot there's a Drink. moment when where you feel that you are alive but after that you 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 rebound to another state maybe depressed or or you only get sleep but um in, in the same way another uh, behaviors uh, ha, has the, the same um patron i don't know uh -huh, like pattern pattern mm -hmm. and people uh, is very it, um, my my point is that that um anxiety anxiety anxiety, anxiety? anxiety is a is a real thing uh, a, a lot of people think that it's only to 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 feed your your nails to 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 eat your nails uh -huh. <laughs> but are... that's just the start there are a lot of uh, situations that uh, are very complex to to understand and the brain uh, function around that same feeling all the time is is very difficult to to go out of of the of the mental disease of the anxiety that's right so let me ask you questions and you're going to go to the break rooms. There are going to be three questions. Question number one, uh, do, you, uh, do, you, do you agree about taking or smoking or drinking when you have anxiety? That's the question number one, pay attention. Question number two, have you ever suffered any anxiety in your life or in your job, in especially in your job? And number three, what your company does when you have any anxiety attack. If they say, no, don't worry, take your day. Or they say, in my case, uh, being a call center has not been a good way to have anxiety. But about your jobs, what they, how they react to that. If they are human people, or they try to, as a human, or they try to as a, a person who needs to complete that shift. So you're going to have, Three minutes to work with different partners and ask these questions, okay? Can what is question, it, please? Sure. Ah, I was it's asking person. you. Uh, what is question number one? If the organization can help you when you feel anxiety okay. symptoms, okay. and if they treat in this, if they take that seriously, like you need some help, uh, and if they can help us, or they just um, ignore. The situation and the other one I didn't remember. Okay, uh, number one, as she said, you need. What do you think about if you take any like or drink alcohol. something, drink. alcohol or smoke or uh, you know what yes. to to control that? Yes. Do you agree with that? The other is you had suffered any anxiety uh, situation in your job or in any place. And what has been in what has been your reaction? How do you act? And number three, what your what the people in your job or in your workplace, how they react if you need a, if you have anxiety attack, an anxiety attack. Okay. Are you ready? Good. Yes. yes. Okay. So yes. let's go. If you, yes. by any reason your partner is not with you, let me know. Okay. So let's go. You had three minutes to work and practice with your partner. Do we see you, Miss Marroquin and she and Jennifer Giselle? Are you there? No. <laughs> Jennifer.
Dead, ja. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, have you suffered like anxiety? <laughs> yes, teacher. We were just having a um a casual conversation before I started. <laughs> the introduction <laughs> yes exactly it's like we're not going to talk about our anxieties before knowing better <laughs> okay. okay that's good yeah. we're talking about last activity from or or companies that we choose ah yeah uh, tell me why we we were together because we were having a lot of fun doing this <laughs> About the uh, about the companies that has CSR, no, or which one? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, interesting. Uh, we 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 also schedule a meeting. Really. <laughs> to the end of the conversation, see, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> see. To work on on how to improve CSR. Wow, that yes. sounds interesting. In and do you get yeah. a solution? Do you get a a, a possible options? Yeah, we have person. solutions already. Yeah, uh, so we want solutions? to work together. Uh, what are the <laughs> What are the suggestions that you gave? Uh, we will care we about talk... human about our employees. Uh -huh, so for example, happier employees. No, that that that's the meeting. That's why we need to schedule the meeting to to like uh -huh. have some forming and and <laughs> and then thinking how can we improve. Um, um, your your enterprise, your business. <laughs> yes, <laughs> sounds good. Sounds interesting. And actually, this is how there is a like a phrase that says, if "You have happy employees, you have a better uh, job." Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, yeah, but but it doesn't work in the real. Well, most of the people doesn't. Uh, do that but I, I love that you're so interested in about doing it maybe in the future yeah, did you. Together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but we were just making fun of that it was like we were in the characters of uh, <laughs> this situation <laughs> and what was the name of your uh, enterprise <laughs> yeah, mine from Google. Carlita it was Google uh huh yeah, and and for me it was BMW. <laughs> oh, for cars. Yeah. yeah. Did, did you did you suggest to give a car to each of your employees? No, yet. <laughs> <laughs> that can be. And, uh -huh. Yes. Yes. So you can prove that. <laughs> That's right. At least we have worked building roads in South Africa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we are gonna get. Uh, but you prefer to get like like the the food instead of the the cards because in that places is the, you don't use a lot of the the cards i suppose so no yeah but they need to have very good um, roads to transport all the yeah the the food and all the emergency they need in okay. in the country Okay, but mm. that's interesting. It's going to be interesting to hear you talking, actually. Teacher, so that, that means that maybe you haven't heard the, the our conversation yet because it was our yeah. test on, on the website. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm going to look for it. <laughs> yeah, teacher, you have to. <laughs> So let's go ahead. I let you continue talking, okay? Okay, okay. teacher. Thank you. Completely <laughs> agree with. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I'm not completely agree with that because I think it's not a good way uh, to overcome those situations and trying to uh, get drunk or a smoke can be a way because a lot of people do that. It's like uh, they, they said that they get relaxed with that. And I don't know if, if that is true, but yes, it can be a smoke, but get drunk. I think it's a little bit dangerous because I know that a lot of people have to drive and yes, instead of, <clears throat> instead of calm the anxiety, 
uh, you can you can crash and maybe you can be worse. But here's the answer, the question. Uh, where is? I do agree. No. Mm, not ten percent, but it can be half. For me, no, because that that you mentioned the yeah, drinking alcohol can fix any problem. It's necessary in the anxiety to talk with someone who is a professional in this kind of problem because now uh, the mental illness are very uh, important to to take care yes actually yes because uh, from your mental illness depends everything if you are not okay so you can do anything okay so <clears throat> yes i think the best way to uh, to count th those situations is speak with somebody and um, somebody who is professional on that area as you uh, as you mentioned and um, i think that's gonna be the that could be the only way uh, to overcome uh, and i don't know why people smoke because now with the pandemic a lot of people who are smoking at the time uh, suffer more with the the uh, uh, problems uh, with the this 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 uh, the COVID because they don't have enough air in their como se dice Hello, teacher. I'm just joining. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, hello. Give me one second. I'm going to look for a partner for you, okay? Hey, guys. Hey. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Hi, Maylene. Hi, Caroline. How are you? Hi, Fine. Jenny. Thank you. Hello, Jenny. Hello. How are you? Good. Fine. Yes. What do you think about about the topic for this conversation? Do you agree or yeah? Do you agree to smoking or drinking when you feel anxiety? Well, I think that smoking and drinking will just make things worse, and instead of helping you to get out of the problem, will take you to more problems and especially health problems. So I think that uh, we need to educate ourselves and pay more attention to our mental health. Um, looking for help with professionals because sometimes we uh, tend to go maybe to a friend and sometimes we feel that they can understand us. And that's, that's why I think many people go to drink or, or to smoke. Maybe... Um, we should just go with the right person and they can help us to to get out of that kind of situations. I, I don't know, what do you think, guys? Yes, I think you're, you're right with that. Maybe in some situations, I think that maybe a little bit of like a glass of wine or I don't know how to say that but I don't know I don't think that that's totally bad I think that it can be something that can help you to relax at that moment uh, but definitely smoking can be a very harmful practice um, many people use the excuse to smoke um, to feel better and I and I think that maybe that can be true at that moment. But if we think about that, it's a matter of how to breathe adequately. Because um, when we feel anxiety, the suggestion is like to breathe deeply and uh, 
to be trying to be calm, sometimes take a shower because mm -hmm. the cold will help you to feel less anxiety. And and yeah, but maybe a little bit of alcohol can't be so bad, but just a little bit, not <laughs> to the point to be drunk. And because yeah, that can be really harmful as well. But yeah, I'm I also agree that the people with anxiety needs to need to to visit maybe a psychology uh, to uh, to speak the problem and talk with friends is good as well but not as a therapy this is just like right. a way to 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 be heard and just to have that um that support from from your friends too i think it's okay but if you want to find a real solution it's better to find a professional to help you and sometimes there is just a there are some techniques that we can use, like I said before, like to breath deeply, uh, trying to meditate, trying to, I don't know if this is a good expression, but trying to blank the, the, the mind, because most of the times it's the amount of thoughts we have and that we can't stop those um, um, bad uh, thoughts that makes us feel bad as well so yeah that's my what I think about that um in some situations I've been through those moments I'm unusual well, I, I mean that's a kind of normal to me to be a anxiety anxiety person and I know when I've been in very hard situations that there are some moments that you don't know what to do and mm -hmm. some nights that you can't sleep the whole night and this is really good to have friends that can support you and in my case um when those things have happened i've looked uh, my friends to talk with them to talk with my sister for example she's one of my best friends too so mm -hmm. i talk a lot with her and no matter the time of the day, I know that that she's going to to hear me. And then if she's not available, I have a couple of friends that are close to me. And I always take therapy when I feel like those moments are really bad. And yeah, it's like, and I want to say sometimes I need a cup, a, a cup of, I don't know how to say, a glass of wine, for example, that makes me feel relaxed and I can sleep better. And it's just like that. But I know that it's so difficult to uh, go through those situations, but it's it's not impossible, but it's really hard. <laughs> yes, it is really hard. And I think everybody has gone through these kind of situations at least once in a life. <laughs> and yeah. yeah, yes. I like what you said about... Um, talking with somebody that is there for you that made you feel a lot better being alone is it's really sad uh, my food so he was a little bit in anxious right now so um let me see the other question was well, have you suffered any anxiety? Well, I think that I have not suffered, like, uh, well, I don't usually suffer uh, anxiety. So, but maybe I remember that one time um, in my uh, last uh, job, uh, not in the, the, the ones that I'm working right now, but I had a, a boss like <laughs> that he like stressed me <laughs> so uh, he he made me feel like a little bit stressful whenever he um come uh, or came to the to the to the office because he usually um or he had uh, like the the um, he usually uh, uh, come or came at that time 
at 6 p.m. at the, at the time that we have to uh, leave the the job. So whenever he he came to the office, we had to stay. So I I I I remember that I didn't like it and I I I felt like a little bit maybe it's stressful I'm not sure if, if it could be anxiety but I didn't like it so uh, maybe I was a little bit anxious about that situation and 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 every time that he was in the in the country but he usually uh, leaves the country and and he um, he used to come like maybe once uh a month or maybe once uh, a, every two months. So every time that he came, if he came uh, to El Salvador, I was like, oh, you know, we will have to stay until 6 p.m. <laughs> and then uh, wait until he, he, he wants or he needs. So I didn't like it. Maybe just one. Why do you in alcohol and he told me because I enjoy it it tastes really good and I like it and I was like oh my goodness that's, that's not good that's even you know like you you feel when I, I drink I, I drank when I was younger but it was not good I felt like my goodness I'm drinking something that I I am not even enjoying Hello. Hello. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm sorry. What happened? <laughs> you were not in groups anymore? No, I mean, uh, we were just staying here, I guess, because Jennifer and I were, were talking. Uh, now it's mainly, now it's every, oh, okay. uh, <laughs> every. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Oh. Hello. 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 Hello, everybody. I'm happy Hello. to see you again. Do you have the opportunity to talk? I gave you enough time. <laughs> yes, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So let's do a little activity to change the mood about this. Uh, this is a difficult topic, honestly. It is a very, not only controversial, but it's uh, touchy. Uh, make you feel like think about certain situation. So let's switch it a little bit. So we're gonna have a certain game, uh, just to confirm we're in unit uh, 13, but let's have a game. This game is because of the Friday, it's Friday day. So, but I'm gonna ask you, uh, do you listen a lot of music? Not yeah. me. No, in my yeah. times. Sometimes? Okay, so let me explain you the activity that we're going to have. The name of the activity is Sing It If You Know The Word. Listen to the game. Sing it if you know the word. Okay, so let me explain you what okay. is it about. Okay, uh, can you read the instructions? Let's see, Jenny. <clears throat> Wait, there you go. Jenny? Flores? I can read it. Okay. Um, you will be given a word and you will have 10 seconds to sing a song with that word in it. Okay, very good. So, for example, you're going to see an example. Okay, so can you please read it, Jonathan, the next? Oi. Yeah, you get one point for each song, for each correct song. Okay, so for example, but I'm gonna I'm gonna divide you in five groups, so you can participate. Group number one is gonna be David, Jennifer, Maylee Marroquin, and Roxana. Group number two, Alicia, Esmeralda, Kaylee, Peter. Who went out? Somebody went out. I'm going to investigate it. Okay, uh, group number two. Group number three, Cesar, Catherine, Mauricio. Group number four is going to be Esteban, uh, Luis, Rocio, and Salvador. Group number five is going to be Jonathan, Carla, Rosalba, and Cindy. Okay? Any questions? Teacher, I never, I never, 
my name, teacher. <laughs> okay, Miss Vidas, you're group number two. Okay. Caroline, Caroline, right? Caroline? Caroline, yes. Kadilin. So it's just because uh, sometimes you say Miss Vidas and I'm um, in the expectation to hear <laughs> Miss Vidas, but then I don't know. Caroline, Caroline. Who is she? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's right. No, that's right. Okay, so everybody knows the, the group that you are? Five or four. Uh, Carlita, let's see. Carlita, Carlita, five. Okay. Okay, Thank everybody you. is ready? Ready. Okay, remember, yes. is ready. you have to get more points. Who joined the group? Ush. Jenny. Jenny, you are going to get B group number three. Okay, so the first word, for example, is baby. So what? Baby. baby. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, you have to baby raise your beard up. You have to raise from Justin Bieber. Okay, but you have to sing baby. it. Okay, Miss Village, you have the first one. You have to say first your group. What is your group? Number two. Okay, so sing it. Sing it. If oh, you baby, the... baby. <laughs> uh -huh. I don't know what to do. You okay. Have... Give me. At least ten seconds. Uh -huh. oh, teacher, ten seconds is too much. <laughs> <laughs> you can okay. So let's give a plow for her. You get the first point. So what is your group? Uh, group number? Number two. Okay, but the next time you have to sing for five seconds. You don't sing five seconds. No point for you. Okay. So let's go. Let's wait. Uh -huh, you have ten seconds. Actually, is the, the the time that you need to sing. The options were that those were. Okay, so next. The next song is Heart. Okay, Carlita. I heart. Uh, and my heart will go on. I no. I got it. <laughs> next person, you have the opportunity. Jonathan. Uh -huh. It can be like, tell me why ain't nothing but a heartache. <laughs> you have to continue, continue. Ain't nothing but a mistake. Tell me yes. why. <laughs> <laughs> what is your group? Group number five. Okay, very good. Next. Ready? Yes. Okay, let's go. Carlita, get down. <laughs> Okay, yeah, next. Okay, okay that they, they were the options. Okay, next. The word is C. Okay, Kaylee, Miss Vides, uh -huh. It's not Jennifer. Uh -huh. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, thank you. Jennifer, is your opportunity. <laughs> Teacher, uh, when I see you again, but I don't remember the the lyrics. But I tell you all about it when I see you again. When I see you again. Okay, four. Group number one. Okay, so ready. The others, you have to be ready. Hands down. Okay, those were the options. Next. Next word is. <laughs> Jonathan, <Always>. sing it. <laughs> Always. Okay, Carlita. Always. I wanna try. Five, four, three, two, one. Rosalba, you had the opportunity. <laughs> It's always but Bon Jovi, but oh, I don't wanna. No, I'm saying switch song. Ena, oh my god, Ena. I'm the next oh, teacher. It's not Roxana. Hey. Miss Venus, this is your opportunity. It's not Roxana. Okay. Say. Okay. This room is bleeding, but you can see his blood. There's nothing but some feeling I can show you me too. Okay, boy. boy. She, she stole my song. She stole my song. 
<laughs> what is the what is your number? Five. Two teachers. Sorry, Rosales. Five? Oh, yeah. but I'm group number five, so it's okay. number two. <laughs> ah, okay. Next. Uh, who enter? Esmeralda? No. Who enter? I yeah. don't know. Oh no, Kevin. Kevin. Okay, Kevin, your group number, who, is, who doesn't have a lot of people? Group number one. No, group number three. Kevin, group number three. Okay, next. Oh no, it's not next yet. Okay. Next word is one. Okay, that's for Carlita, it's not Jennifer. Uh -huh. David, you can do it. Okay, it's not David. Carlita, hey, five seconds. You say um, you're crazy because you don't think I know where you go. <laughs> I'm not the only one here. I, I got the point, but think? I don't. Do we give the point? Uh, when no? you call me, baby, I know I'm, I'm not, not the only one. one. Jennifer, you got it. That's for Jennifer. Well, thank you for trying. Okay, Jennifer, what is your group? Number one, teacher. Okay, next. Very good. David, it was like, ay, 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 ay. But next is going to be for him. Hey, but you have to be fast. Okay, let's wait. Hey, put it down, Carlita. Okay, next. Around. Okay, Rosalba, let's go. Turn around every now and then I get a little bit terrified to see the look in your eyes. Turn around, but I turn around. <laughs> <laughs> okay, point. What is your what is your your group? Number five. Okay. <laughs> now I'm gonna cut my <laughs> okay, next. It's okay, you have to wait. Give me one second. Okay, the next word is sigh. Somebody? Okay, I give you I give you I you made me you've got me like crazy. I side by side by Ariana Grande. Oh, hey! oh, my God. oh. <laughs> somebody else, you have the opportunity. David, Kevin, Luis. Okay, then you go, Luis. Uh -huh. How long, how long will I slide? Separate my side. I don't, I don't believe it's bad. Slid in my throat, it's all I ever heard. Try with chili peppers. <laughs> Point, Luis, what is your group? Four. Okay, you get your first point, you got. So let's go. Remember, the first to get five is gonna be the winner. Next, worthy. Worth, if the word is worth. Okay, Carlita, let's go. No? You have the right hands up. Ah, Carlita. Uh, okay, you have a few seconds. Somebody, somebody. Word. Thank you for your participation. Bye. Okay. <laughs> Carlita, hands down. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Next word is feeling. Catherine. I got the this feeling. Inside my bones, it got the electric. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> eh, no, you have to sing it. You have to sing it. Out! Mauricio, this is your first time. I can't stop the feeling. <laughs> Mauricio, you have five seconds to answer. I got a feeling that tonight's gonna be a good night. That tonight's gonna be a good night. <laughs> Uh, that song. <laughs> oh, Maylin, please, but looking, you have the opportunity. And I'm feeling 
Miss Booker, this is your last, the last one. Ah. Why not? Because number number two, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, sometimes I get a good feeling. Yes. Can I be next? Another one. Abishi, Abishi. Okay, out, everybody. <laughs> You're rejected. Out. We have no dry teacher. <laughs> next. Because I'm too much. <laughs> next word. Let's see. Word. Okay, Mauricio. We are the word. We are the children. Oh, Maylin, use the opportunity. No, I was going to sing the same. Try it, but sing it. You get the best of both worlds. We are the world. We are, we are the, the children. children. We, we are, are the world. We, we make a better world. place. So let's give them. Every start we make it. We Wow. Wow. It's it's you and me. Room number one. Okay. Oh, oh, fun. Number one? Okay. So next. Hands down, Mailing. Mailing. Hands down. Mailing. Okay. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> next. No, no, it's not next yet. Give me one second. Belong. Ah, uh, me, me, me. Okay, hands up. You're on the phone. It's your girlfriend. She's upset. She's going up about <laughs> something. I just say, because you never got your feeling like I do. I'm in the phone. <laughs> Uh, no, you belong with me. Okay, boy. <laughs> Good. What is your what is it? Your group? Uh, five. Okay, okay. What happened with group number three? You have the opportunity. Okay, next. Ah, does you belong with me? <laughs> next. Nothing. Okay, not compares to you. But you have to raise your hand, you stop it. Face it. First, uh, let's see. Yo. King, what's first? Yeah. Nothing gonna change my love for you. You know oh. nah, 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 how much I love you. So I'm gonna continue. Uh, I forget it. <laughs> oh, okay, Miss Venus, this is the opportunity. Okay. It's now Catherine. It's or Catherine. Been and 15 days 62 your love away i'll go out every night and sleep all okay day. point where's your group group number number two okay so let's see it's missing two more points so the first one who get it is the winner put it down carlita i am I'm coming 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 <laughs> next I, word I, I, is Rather, Esteban, go ahead. Uh, no, 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 I, 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 I can say that. Eh, okay, so, somebody, you have five seconds. Okay, Catherine. If you gave me a chance, I will take it. And it says, when I am with you, there's no place I'd rather be. That's all. Do we give the point? Catherine, what is your group? Group number three. <laughs> Woohoo! You got one point. <laughs> Congratulations. Okay. Carlita. Uh, Down. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Next, bad. Carla, is no more reason. Uh, Five, four, three, two, one. Out. Thank oh, you, Mauricio. I'm feeling bad, Blue. 
Okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Carlita. Wow. Uh, I'm very sorry. Ow! Don't say it. Don't say it. You have to go to me. <laughs> Carlita, hey, you so good, Mauricio. so good to be here. Hey. Carlita, start writing the song. Yeah, right right in the right, right. Okay, right, no, no, no. Carlita, go for okay. the Grammy. <laughs> I know, I know the, the the song, but I don't remember the lyrics. Every time that I want to party, <laughs> <laughs> David, this is your opportunity now or never. Okay, uh, that could be bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? I don't know. Mine is Mine teacher. Okay. Just, I mean, the last um, one. Grammy last is going to... Why did you me? Because they did a for us. No, so, I was there first, teacher. No, it was Carlita, Mauricio, but Mauricio never <laughs> answered. Okay, so put it down. So my screen was lying. me. Dow, Miss Marroquin, Dow. Okay, let's see. Pum, 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 pum. Girl, Miss Vives. Uh -huh. Girls just wanna have fun. Oh, girls just wanna have. I don't believe hope. Don't score. <laughs> girls, no way can they. I can't don't go. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to have fun. mixed all the words. <laughs> what is your group? Group number? Number two, teacher. <laughs> ah, I have a tie, so I need one more because I have group number one, group number two, group number five. No, group number five, no. But group number one and two. But okay, this is the last one. Definitely, this is the last one. Wait, wait, wait. I kiss the girl. I not mind. I kiss the girl. Maha, the next one is better. Uh, better beer symphony. Five, four. Just okay, Jonathan. Better sweet symphony. I think is one that says, I think you feel better now, better now, because you think that I'm not around, not around. It's uh, that's uh -huh. funny. <laughs> what I remember. Uh, out. <laughs> so Why? You have to try that. You have to think for 10 seconds. One more opportunity. Somebody else? No, thank you. Okay. So let me give you one more word and this is all. Pum, 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 pum. We need to have one winner. Okay. The last one is mirror. I'm just in the mirror. Okay. I'm... Jonathan, no? Jonathan, you have the hands up. No? Okay. Carlita, this is your opportunity. It's not Mauricio. Why you you just make me in the mirror? I know it's a otra. No, sorry. <laughs> no, sorry. Okay, Mauricio, <laughs> this is your opportunity. Oh, it was mirror, no mirror. I'm trying to remind teacher. <laughs> oh, okay, that was so. Oh my God, what a shame. Okay, so the, we don't have a winner, but almost the winner were group number one. And group number two, because group number three and four, thank you. And group number five, uh, three points. So group number one and two are the winner. Applaud for them. Applaud for group number one and two. Okay, very good job. We 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 are going to have points, teacher. You're gonna have extra points. No, you're gonna have the the satisfaction. Grammy. Uh -huh, the the Grammy. clap from us. The clap. And one. the Grammy goes to. Ah, uh -huh, you're gonna have the Grammy. We're number one. <laughs> you should feel the satisfaction that you sang, and that you are famous now. <laughs> okay, I need your help. We're gonna move to the next activity. Let's see, Esteban, can you read the first slide, please? Of course. 
competence. Competence. Uh -huh. Discuss the objectives and benefits of corporate societal responsibility programs and policies. Let's read the article starting your own CSR, five steps to success to recall the information read. Okay, very good. Cindy, can you read the first one? And then Jennifer. Competence discuss the objectives and benefits for of corporate social responsibility programs and policies. Starting your own CSR, five steps to success. Okay. One, pick mm -hmm. up the right partner. Other, small businesses are simply not equipped to manage every as aspect of a, a CSR program on their own, not should try, nor should try. Attempting to do so will simply deplete program resources along with the energy and, and enthusiasm your employees have for the program. Let the expert help choose a partner not profit that naturally aligns with your company's core mission and services. Okay, very good. Next, Jennifer, can you help me with number two? Yes, teacher. Structure a for say I cannot read that sustainability? word. Can you please? How, teacher? Sustainability. Sustainability. Uh -huh. If C CSR not aligned with your business model, it could become a one-time project rather than a sustain sustainable Ability? project. Uh -huh. sustainable? Mm -hmm. Look for ways to blend financial support with volunteer service or in-kind contributions. Don't limit involvement to simply don donating or person percentage of your annual profits. Consider sponsoring a day of giving in the community where customers, clients, and employees can work together. Super good, thank you, Jennifer. Next, Mauricio. Support community education. Looking to make an immediate impact on your local community? College or advanced degree scholarships are one of the most popular CSR choices that make a direct impact on the recipient's life. The cost of attending college leaves too many students crippled with low and debt or unable to pursue advanced degrees. So investing in education is a good choice. Okay, very good. Next is going to help me, Alicia. Don't shy away from personal causes. When a cause is near and dear to your heart, your heart, your passion for this cause will naturally shine through, inspiring your fellow employees as well as customers and clients. For a small business, choosing personal causes that are closely aligned with the local community will also inspire community-wide involvement that goes beyond just your current employees and customers. Super good, David? Five, uh, monitor customer impact. In addition to monitoring the success of your CSR program, you also want to understand how customers and clients perceive them. For example, when a company is getting push, push back for customers about donation, the company needs to rework on their program to make it more sustain sustainable uh -huh. and less disruptive to local communities. Okay, super good. So let me give you, let me ask Cesar, what is the, the reading about? What is the main idea? Cesar? Sorry, I left the, the <laughs> okay. question. Don't but, shy. Can I do? Uh, 
No, okay. My question is, what is the summary for the reading? What does it mean? What is it about? And then Gisela. What is the main idea for the reading? Okay, uh, I think it's related with the with the companies. Uh, they the all companies must be have a responsibility program for the society. And it's a ethic. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's something ethic. And because the society needs uh, always needs a social program. Okay. And uh -huh. CS, CSR is a good is a good polite policies uh -huh. practices in around the world. Okay, thank you. Gisela, tell me what is it about? Uh, the main topic is about social responsibility and how companies uh, and even a small business can try to do it with their employees, clients, customers, and the sex also provides some advice. For example, say that they can promote like being a volunteer for the employees. And it's also something so common, for example, in call center. I used to work in a nonprofit organization where we received many volunteers from other institutions like Web Help, TP, TELUS. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Let me ask you, uh, what is the, the, I think that the name is Un Techo Pa Mi País, right? There is one in like foundation or... Yeah, an business? NGO. But yeah, you pay attention... Organizations. Uh-huh, and you pay attention, they have they're so intelligent because they are so intelligent because they ask the people to do be volunteer, but they don't spend that money paid for the people. You know, do you understand the point? Yeah, a lot of a lot of, a lot of foundation works in the same way. That most of the people that they employ are uh, volunteers, not that employees. Actually, no, but of course, uh, being a being a volunteer help a lot of people. That's right. In actually, I suppose that I suppose that the society is uh, as a society is you are a hero, but in this kind of the um, enterprise or companies or big companies. Uh, just taking a photograph just only for the say, hey, you are a community, but it's, I want to pay for that that make an a an, an, an house. I think uh, who is the the whole the the, the whole flowers in, in this case is the company where never say Esteban building a one house, for example, mm -hmm. a professor uh, build, uh, uh, spoken to build in a little oh, okay. brick on the wall, but never, just only say for that. And they, this kind of company have, have the resources and, and the cash, even in the paid, but uh, they need to ask him for, uh, for example, the, uh, a, um, free for a lot of turtles in the middle of the 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 the, the sea, but uh -huh. it's don't it's not a a, a, a case or a CSR. Right. Now let me ask you one question that you are gonna debate with your partners. The question is simple: Do you recommend volunteering in this uh, in this company or not? Easy. Now before you give me any answer. Let me just share some <laughs> a personal personal opinion, okay, or situation. In my case, I actually I was a volunteer for a uh, La Teleton. When I was in the university, I went to, but this is it was not for because I need the hour. It just for volunteer. I was there for almost two years, and I sold a lot of uh, you know bracelets. Uh, or I don't remember the material. But the thing is that I sold many of these bracelets, mm -hmm. a lot of. So 
at the end I just say no I don't want to continue because I was it was not my what I was looking for but I didn't like volunteer it I never received anything even though I didn't receive uh anything for from them but they got the benefits but I mean do you agree once again about volunteering and, and or not you have to give your point of view I'm gonna no. Wait, 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 wait. I'm going to you room. We're going to discuss about that, okay? I'm going to give you five minutes to discuss. Five minutes. <laughs> hey, guys. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh... Roxana. 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 Uh, it seems she's not here. Hey, you have Esmeralda over here or Luis? I think that Luis is over here. Uh, Esteban. Uh -huh. Hi. Jennifer, uh, hey guys. Hey. Well, if you want to start, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Fred, uh, hi. Yeah. Um, well, I in my case, I recommend if you want to be a volunteer, you can. Mm -hmm. and it's a beautiful experience. It depends on the organization. For example, in my experience, uh, working in a foundation, I, I can say that it was the most beautiful experience that I ever had working because you can know how many lives change because of the work from many people. For example, some kids that don't have their resources to have a good education, they can get a scholarships. Or mm -hmm. if you are a volunteer, you can help uh, some kids that maybe are not so good in some, uh, for example, in math or language or something, you can help them. And I think give, the, give them your time and give your point of view from something to them could help and could change a life. If you can change a life, of course, mm -hmm. in my case, I take it. Okay, I mean, um, it's good. I, I share some, uh, some part of your opinion because I have, um, in the past years, I have choose to support some organizations being a volunteer. Actually, uh, one of the uh, one of the most um, remarkable experience that I ever had, it was during uh, 2014, because uh, that was my first experience visiting another country, and I had the chance to help uh, to other people in, in that country. Um, I was working as a volunteer. Um, with a global organization, it calls IESEC. Um, they are a young, uh, a young organization leading by um, young people only. I, I think if I'm not wrong, uh, the highest uh, age is um, 30 years, I guess, and from 30 down. So um, I got the chance to help people like um, helping with um, some classes um, about many, many topics. Um, also doing some makeover and um, uh, it was like a public, a, a public foundation uh, who helped a specific area uh, like taking care of kids or playing with them and uh, teaching them about leadership and uh, having some workspaces between them to try to prevent violence and some other troubles that the area has. 
So after that, I was working in King Marine also, but that I was paying by that. I mean, that was my, my job, but also I tried to convince and attract people to be a volunteer there so they can um, like help um, to the kids to be a guide, you know? Uh, so I like that experience. It wasn't a volunteer, but I, I tried to inspire um, young uh, boys and girls to be volunteers. And I don't know how to say this in, in English, but como hacer sus horas sociales there. So, uh, and also I have another experience about that, but I think that volunteering makes you feel and thought about uh, how rich we are with the experience that we have, with the lives we have, uh, the life we have, the life that we have, and the things that we sometimes don't care about and others doesn't have, but we do. So I think it's, it's a good choice to do it at least once in life that change your mindset. <gasps> Nine. Wow. Good about. Uh, about Carlos, um, would you please yeah. as uh, the mentioning? Sorry, Esteban, what did you say? Uh, if you agree, the, the girls continuing the, the, the saying that experiences, so you taking a, a, like a Rocio, maybe Luis and me is uh, the last, uh, Carla, Jenny, please go ahead. Oh, I think the time is up. Or it's okay. a debate. It's a debate time now. Okay, yeah. Oh, can you see my son? Yes. Okay, yes, we had debate time. Remember that you have an activity for today? Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. The questions, yes. were, were, the vocabulary was, do you agree about euthanasia, bitcoins, abortion, death penalty, human rights, prisoners, and what was the last one? Ah, let's say one, two, three, four, five. No, they are. Oh, no, it's incorrect. Uh -huh. Yeah, made me feel a little bit uh, 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 that. Okay, so let me explain you how it's going to work. Actually, this is going to be evaluated. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes, it's going to be evaluated. So it's going to be easy. The only thing that you have to do is I'm going to divide you in one, two, three, in, in groups. No worries. This is because you investigated, so it's going to be a piece of cake. Yes, teacher. <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay. So I'm going to divide you in groups. And the only thing that you have to do is talk about that. For example, uh, let's see. In the group number one is going to be Cesar, Catherine, and Roxana. So that means that Cesar, the first topic is going to be euthanasia. Cesar, do you agree about the euthanasia? Catherine, do you disagree about the euthanasia? euthanasia? And Roxana, do you agree? OK? Remember, what is your position? Because one thing is that that uh, you honestly you agree or disagree, and the other is that you have to defend your point. Teacher, uh -huh. <laughs> sorry, but but I prefer to stay in a position that they disagree the euthanasia. But that's the point that you have to. You have Roxana. You and Roxana, <laughs> you're gonna defend why euthanasia is good. Okay? We are agree with euthanasia. Yes, I, I, I understand disagree. that even it's not our personal opinion or position, ah. we <laughs> try to convince the view, the point of view of the other side. But this is like if not this, something this, from your heart. <laughs> that's right. I know, I know. But this is like okay. if I, I try. Agree, if I agree about smoking, I'm gonna say yes, he is. It's something good because you can relax, <laughs> you can enjoy it. This is blah blah blah. <laughs> Even though for the real life, I don't like it. Okay, but this is an example. In the next, okay, next, try for them. Maybe. But you can do it. I know that you can do it. Next is gonna be David, Mailing, and Rocio. So <clears throat> David and Rocio, you are gonna be about disagree about the euthanasia. And Mailing, you are gonna be agree about euthanasia. So you had something to work with. Okay, let's I see. mean, I'm going to be and disagree. 
Yes, yeah, the same for the baby. I'm agree. <laughs> No, I can we uh, surely, surely I'm agreeing. I would like to be disagreed. But now you okay. agree. No, you, 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 you have to keep your. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to ask another person in your group, group number two. It's going to be Rosalba. Rosalba, you agree, okay? About it. Out nation. Uh -huh. Out nation. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. uh, let's see if a group number one, uh, Esmeralda, are you there? Yes. Okay. Esmeralda is going to be agree about it donation with Catherine. Next, group number four. I'm, I'm sorry, group number three. I'm going to delete this group. Okay. It's going to be Alicia Mauricio versus, wait, group number four. Give me one second. Okay. It's going to be. Alicia and Kevin, you agree with the with Alicia, and Mauricio and Salvador disagree. Number group number. Agree. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, group totally number three. Agree. three. Three, three, three. Group number three. The same topic, teacher. There's yes. A, I would like to debate uh, uh, about. Okay, uh, I'm going to give you another topic about abortion. Okay. Okay, so in the case for Alicia and Kevin, you agree, and Mauricio and Salvador, you disagree. Okay. Okay. Next is gonna be Miss Vidas. Miss Vidas, are you there? Yes. Okay. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> okay, you're gonna be group number four, and you're gonna have. Give me one second. And you're gonna have death penalty. In the death penalty, is gonna be. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, it's gonna be Esteban and Jennifer. You agree? Uh, no way. No, no. You disagree, and Vidas and Jenny agree. Okay. And the last... what topic? Uh, excuse me, teacher. Death penalty. Death penalty. Okay. Uh -huh. Next is gonna be for Carlita. Let me tell you. Peter Parker, are you there? Peter Parker, are you no. there? No. <laughs> no. No, in that case, uh, Peter Piper, <laughs> are you there? Yes, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the next one is gonna be oh sh give me one second. Mm -mm. Ah, there you go. There you go. Hey, 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 uh, group number five. Group number five is going to be for a, uh, Bitcoins. Yeah, for the Bitcoins, it's going to be for group number five. So, Jonathan and Carlita, you agree? And Peter and Luis disagree for Bitcoins. Oh, my gosh. Okay, and okay. Let's see, Cindy, you're going to be with... Let me add you to one group. You're gonna be with group number two. The where is Maylin, Rocio, Rosalba, and Cindy. What is the topic? Uh, euthanasia, right? Yes. 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 Okay, I'm gonna change you the topic. I'm gonna give you human rights prisoner. Mm, why? But, okay, you're gonna give euthanasia. Okay. Thank you. But uh, <laughs> Cindy, you're gonna be. Mm, Disagree. Disagree <laughs> with the euthanasia. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. So you're going to have approximately six minutes. In that six minutes, you have to defend your point of view. I'm going to be visiting some of you, and you have to talk as much as you can about the topic. Uh, teacher, I just only a, a recommendation or, or something, uh, my point of view. Uh -huh. uh, so classmates are uh, talking a lot, uh, and even in the <laughs> Talking uh, a space for the other classmates. What you He's can do? Uh, uh -huh, go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Yeah, when in, in in the group. So let la 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 la, la speaking in a lot the, in the the the, <laughs> the rest. Uh -huh. um, um, tomorrow maybe or on Monday you say, hey, please send the result, and the classmate just only say, hey, yeah, yeah, man, I am I'm game. Uh, so do uh, introduce the. 
uh, two minutes uh, on each or two two minutes and a half to to each and you are capacity to say hey, stop in my my turn or something like that okay that's a, it's, it's a debate together. right yeah it's a debate what you can do is you can get one minute at a time for example you start okay. with disagree for example everybody for everybody everybody who is disagree is going to start and you're going to put the chronometer one minute when you're finished whoever who talks uh, next person the other group uh, my recommendation is everybody can help each other to participate one minute each time okay 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 sure. anyway, uh -huh. and and how we be uh, evaluate how, how do you evaluate us uh, I'm gonna be visiting you. Visiting. I'm gonna be ah, okay, like okay, a few okay, minutes. Okay. I'm gonna hear you. I'm gonna okay. check. And I'm gonna move. Okay. And I'm gonna return. Okay. Any other question? Uh, the, uh another question <laughs> is when uh, I uh, have a lot of experience <laughs> on the you um send me uh, uh just only me uh, and and I need to involve. I don't know who to say is the normal or the the person that doesn't uh. Uh, image is allowed i don't know they just uh, i don't know what is is 22 people but i need just only uh, as a most uh, 15 person in camera uh -huh. Uh -huh. when this kind of person doesn't say anything and, and i say hey, hey, hey somebody hear me and, and it's quiet that's right so my I, recommendation is, i'm sorry like the recommendation that Stephen says and that's right and that's what something that i mentioned that you have, you're here to play and uh, turn on your camera. Because for me, if your camera is off, is that it's like you are not in the, right now. So please make sure that you have your camera. So Esmeralda, Salvador, Zindi, Meili, uh, Gisela, there you go. Thank you, Kevin, Kaylin, Catherine, because I don't know if you are there. So it is taking time of the, of the activity. Okay. No, so. and, and and I still uh, be honest, uh, teacher, uh, and and you stay uh, saying and as the, as a group, uh, uh, some classmates say anything. So I, for that reason, I uh, take it that leave lead the the break room and and I stay immediately well, because my right. time is not your time; it's my time. That's right. Yeah, I'm gonna no. try. It just in case there is any issue during the breakout rooms, let me know. Okay. So oh, no, 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 no. If you are there, Jennifer, if you are there, Mailing, if you are there, and Salvador, if you are there, and Michelle, if you are there, please help me with the camera to start. And let's see, let's move on that. Even though you are in pajamas, that's okay. I wanna see you in pajamas. Oh, nice to see you, Jennifer. <laughs> okay, she is. Nice to meet you, teacher. Yeah. I think it's the first time you see me, right? Yes, oh my gosh. I'm so happy to see you. Honestly, I'm so happy. <laughs> Hi, Maylene. Okay, so we're gonna miss, uh, we're gonna wait a few seconds for Esmeralda, Salvador, and Kate, Catherine. Okay, meanwhile, I'm gonna start loading you uh, with the breakup rooms. And let's go. Good luck, guys. And fight. Boom, 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 boom. Let's see, Rocio, let me check. Give me one second. Okay, give me one minute. Rocio, do you see any invitation or like join? Hello, Rocio. <laughs> Do you see any invitation to join? Okay, you are here again. Let me bring everybody here. Okay, who else? Uh, Georgina. And there's another one also. There were three people. Yeah, Georgina, um, Gisela, what's the other one? But Georgina from us? I don't know. I think she's not here. Yeah. 
Georgina, are you there? No. <laughs> okay. So let's see. Let me try one more time. Do you see an invitation or something when you are trying to merge? Okay, there are a few. Oh, no, no. Marilyn, Sandy, and Gina Davis. Yes. Okay, so yeah. it starts. You can start, guys. Okay, um, I were um, on favor or in the right side, I guess, about the euthanasia. So, well, I'm going to start saying that euthanasia. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I was against. Sorry. Who is again? Who is who is in I favor? Was against, I was against. Um, I, I, it's supposed that I should not be agreeing. Okay. So, yeah. okay. Rocio, I'm David, and I, we are not agree. Yeah. Mainly yeah. Rosalba, they agree. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Yes. Continue. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to start saying that um, in cases of suicide, um, euthanasia can be used as an escape door for those people who are not suffering about um, uh, uh, a difficult illness. So I think it's not um, the only way that you can find a solution. I mean, most of the people, I guess, they think that if they um, are um, taking the euthanasia option to finish the problems, we're solving it and we're leaving them alone. So um, if we try to help them with psychological treatment, with uh, some studies to try to uh, find that another ways to solve the problems, maybe we can avoid this uh, kind of practices. Euthanasia, it's not the only solution. Uh, in many of the cases when people consider it um, as a maybe probably um, keep, you know, uh, when the things are getting worse, even in some illness. Uh, the medicine has many advances in the, in the recent years also, um, there are many treatments uh, we can take, you know, to so try to get a better life. Even if we think that we're gonna die, we can um, make uh, people live longer if we try to give them the right treatments uh, with the right medicine. And um, if we try to help people to try to leave that situation or that decision, Okay. And uh, I, I think it's I like giving but... dignity to these people. Uh, you know, I have heard some some a person that had their family have been through this because they're they have this mental disease that's a constant. They don't want it, and they maybe they they have received some therapy. But they don't leave this box. They they are really strong. So at some point, then end their life in 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 a horrible way. So maybe to try to give them some dignity, you can help them. Yeah, in but the, in, in, in the order in the underground, rest. in order than I agree, uh, I mentioned that you must you mo you have the right to decide what do you do with your life <laughs> you, you you have free will so yeah in order to to, to <laughs> in order to, to this situation to, yes so and uh, as you i you know that the patient is going to be in peace too. okay what in about other you countries they have the resources you in comfort way okay, okay. I, I think it's my turn guys <laughs> yes i i totally disagree with euthanasia because there can be a lot of ways to pass through these uh sickness let's say like that uh 
I know that there are some cases of people that are very sick or diseased, as Roxana says, uh, but also there can be a lot of medicines or vaccines that can help to pass through these, uh, to this state, you know? Like in the so, future, that they can find a cure. Yeah, not in the future, not only in the future, but also in the actual times. Because there are, let's say an example, like a common, a common sickness, which can be an example. Mm. Let's imagine that some, some person has cancer and let's imagine that there's a cure for cancer. So if, there, if there's a cure, then this person can just start the treatment or help him, you know? So that, this is just an example, but I know that there exists uh, another, uh, how do you say enfermedades in English? Diseases. Diseases. So I think that there are another diseases that can be treated with the actual medicines, you know? So in that cases, uh, that's why I'm totally disagree with uh, euthanasia. Yes, but some mental uh, illness, they're okay. not, they don't have cure, I, they don't have no. Yes, so, but I, in this moment, I, I need to be a uh, uh, rule. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, you prefer uh, look uh, the patient suffering? Than no. The... <laughs> yes, that's the thing. You are, only, you are only they are in pain. Uh, you are only a uh, uh, long time, extend the, extend the time they suffer. They suffer. Yeah, you, know, uh, you know, what I'm trying to say is that having a, a, a children so the it is like a process and sometimes they are not ready uh, maybe in education or even mentality they are not prepared for for that so it is like a, a process that everybody has to follow since you are a kid you know sexual education for example and there are a lot of cases that it is a product because of that. So you can be like a victim of a rape. You can you can even be in danger. You in you can die because if you are not ready for for be a, a parent. So yeah, I I think that it depends on the case. But something that I really can stand is when. They are just ignoring why they get pregnant, some girls, and they after that they want to get an abortion. So I, I disagree with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in my case, I I, I agree with um, Salvador because sometimes you know, uh, many many like girls uh, get pregnant, you know. Yeah. And not only that, but also maybe because it's not it's not all the cases. Maybe uh fifty of the cases, the girls are not, or the economic situation is not good. You know, not only that, but also sometimes they get pregnant. Besides that, uh, babies are suffering a lot. Mm, they get sick. And there are a lot of uh, negative things when we talk about why is that uh, she didn't, uh, or what can I say, why she never uh, let the, the boy to get pregnant, you know? But in my case, I think it's, it's something difficult because uh, it depends on the situation. You know, it depends of your decision, but I think that at the end of the day, it will be terrible for you because based on the Holy Bible, it's the other way around, you know, the other way around, but I don't know what, what is your opinion, guys? Well, in my, in my case, I would like to remain in my point. I really think that 
uh, abortion once legalized could be uh, in detriment of the society and the health of people, women, and maybe uh, men, also men in, in, a mel in a mental sense. And I think that uh, it, it's like you are uh, a society open a door to, to abortion could, could be used to as anticonceptive uh, method and not only to stop the, the pregnancy in some causes uh, that, that are in, sometimes rightly uh, justified. That's my point, Alicia. Mm -hmm. Well, I think to have that child is a big reason, a huge responsibility because you have to do a lot of for a kid, and also some girls doesn't have the enough um, education or they don't have work to be um, a support for the new family that I is gonna be with the child. So I think that's why it's important to uh, be legal the abortion because they can have the choice to be mother or not. Exactly. Uh, uh, that's, I think that's a basic human right to decide when and whatever to have the children. And also when someone has uh, be uh, uh, in a situation that she was obligated to have sexual relationship and they became pregnant and that's not good. In not, that is not a good reason to have a child only because uh, it's there because they can uh, destroy the, the life of the girls. Some, some girls can also uh, get and uh, uh, commit suicide for them because they don't feel well that because that happened. So uh, for the government here in El Salvador, they can uh, take some situation and uh, evaluate that is necessary to finish um, a pregnancy in some cases, it's, uh, especially when uh, there are a crime for the girl. And also they can be a right for those that don't want to have a child in that moment. And maybe they are thinking in their future then when they have a work and they are a, a, with a economic, a stable economic, they can take the choice to have the, the child in the future. But if that's a said, it is only a medical proof. We only need or do it, and we you and you can get a, a transfer uh, even if you don't doesn't have a, a, a bank account a bank account. So uh, I think it's it it, it does it, it's not worth uh, the the risk because to have a cryptocurrency in this, in this, in this case uh, because uh, uh, day by day the bank is improving all the all the platforms uh, recently we uh, we know that we have an, a big issue with Banco Agricola about uh, they are they, they were uh, losing um, credential from the the, the users uh, but that is uh, that was a leak that you can have in any any kind of pl platform. Uh, even if you you have a a wallet with a cryptocurrency, you you have all the risk to to lose your credential and and, and lose your money. Um, the risk is, is the same. We we know more than uh, more. Uh, news from the bank because there are more people using the bank than using cryptocurrencies. That's why you always know uh, or, or when you can get more noise that from the society when there's a problem, but uh, it's the same in, 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 for example, in the case of a wallet uh, for a cryptocurrency. And you need to 
uh, to have a, in, in this case, uh, the, the government has to uh, develop up his own wallet, but that no guarantee that that is totally safe. That's the, that's my my point of view. Um, regarding the uh, cross uh, for Bitcoin, I think that even that all the companies or maybe all the business that we have or we could have involved risk. So why we don't have to use currencies or Bitcoin in this case to um, be involved in a race, but uh, get a higher like earnings or returns uh, based on the, on the few money that you can invest. So even that um, we can uh, earn a lot of money, also we have uh, the opportunity to um, transfer the all the funds that we will get in that um, cryptocurrency uh, so we can transfer uh, the money in a faster way to another uh, or to your bank to use it any time or any moment that you wish and you don't have to like be um, involved in all the uh, process that the current bank ask and uh, start to to ask for documentation to to um to report uh, how you get the money, but in this case you can use it right away, so you have more liquidity. Uh, liquidity, uh, yes. Um, so you can use your money at any time, and you don't have to be involved with the third party that uh, can be a little bit more uh like um can ask you for more information. So you just have to transfer even to another type of currency, maybe a dollar, an euro, euro or another type of, of, uh, of uh, currency. So you can use it whenever you want or in any country that you wish. And also you can invest in other type of crypto uh, currency uh, because we, uh, we can invest in more than 10,000, I think, uh, different type of cryptocurrency. As well with the payment. So I think actually pay with a cryptocurrency is, is more secure than paying with F, with another type kind of bank because I don't know if you have gone through a bank a double charge. So when you are trying to pay something and, some, and more of the time, uh, the bank doesn't recognize uh, the other payment and uh, yes the, that payment is like in hold but it doesn't appear on your bank or some uh, some website doesn't require the security digits <clears throat> and somebody just with a picture can use your credit card to pay on different websites so for in that way uh, with cryptocurrency it's unlikely uh, to go through that situation because you have to do it by yourself is more is more secure because uh, only you know your <clears throat> your access. So if you share that, it's like yes, that's gonna be your business. But that's more personally, and not a lot of people can have that <clears throat> kind of security because the blockchain. And as well, <clears throat> so as Carla mentioned, uh, you can use that uh, to pay in a broad country, and a lot of people is using now nowadays. Like it's gonna be difficult to find a place who doesn't accept that kind of payment and yes you can uh, you can pay a, a little bit lower and you can get your return height it's um, nowadays is gonna be better uh, having having a wallet with bitcoin that uh, currently uh, with a bank it's gonna be better yes i think that even though uh cryptocurrencies they have the security of the blockchain i think that your micro Pedro. Ah, sorry i think that uh, sorry thank you i think that uh, well i was talking because um even though the the bitcoin has the blockchain i think that it always has to be have to be a third party 
if if you can see in El Salvador we have the superintendencia del sistema financiero they 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 secure the transactions they stay uh, looking for uh, new policies and control the the financial system because it can happen as I, I was saying if a crypto lose their the value a lot of people is going to be affected so that doesn't that does, doesn't happen with 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 currency with with the dollar because there are, are a lot of 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 there is a structure uh, made to protect the the financial system and avoid any kind of of payment that it can happen when a crypto lose their value if the dollar lose the value there are a lot of um of uh, i know the the word in, in spanish but like it's... to our daughters and sons because they need to understand that uh, that kind of relationship in an early age is a way a natural way to experience but no this is a reality that you imagine you get pregnant of your first your first boyfriend that is yeah. it's a problem because may, you <clears throat> may not you, you you couldn't love him forever because you are 16 yeah. maybe or 17 well i have <laughs> a, a, a a sad history for myself <laughs> my son is 11 but the last year he told me that he was in love so I was crying now, <laughs> but I tell him that she, uh, he can be in love, yeah. but can be another girls in the future that he can be only thinking in her because all, all they <laughs> came and tell me, mom, he, she told me today, mom, I think I, she likes me too. And no son. Can be another girl that maybe in the future no be only focus on her, focus on their studies. Yeah. <laughs> Learn math. <laughs> there is only a situation of their age. Yeah. And that's I remember when I my I was talking with my mom when we, I had that age. No, don't think in boys. No. Maybe when you finish the, the university. Where maybe you when you have been working, and that's why some uh, I had a lot of friends that came mothers at 15 years, <laughs> and now I think they are grandma also. I think, okay, yeah, <laughs> it's necessary to be open with our kids, and yeah, yeah, because. Case, because it's a, as mom or father, you are not open to your to talk about this topic with your sons or daughters. You you make a barrier with them, and they they maybe don't feel doesn't feel open to to share to you their feelings, and and that feeling yeah. that come and, and and goes easily. They are the reality. That are the reality in that moment of the life, and and and. It's, it's a best way to to appreciate that and and share it in a good sense don't huge hey don't you think what do you think about that no 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 that's not it's not a true love story you even you you know that it's not true that that love uh, go out with the with the summer but i think that that you have to be make feel to the to the teenager that it's it's a it's a it's a sane feeling but only that <laughs> yeah so as a result communication rap is the solution yeah, for this this thing it's the first at home we have that obligation with our sons and daughters mm -hmm. be open yeah and now, be forgiving. i'm not a father yet but you guys that you said that you're a mother a yeah. kid of 11 years yeah I, now it's worth it because is the other person that is like fighting for their life and they need that equipment you can give it to them and then stop the suffering of that patient and that family 
So I think that it's a, an opinion that you have to think about and you have to, to research, investigate what is the importance of this and your own opinion, right? So I think that it's, a, it's better that you investigate and it's better that you know the cons and the pros that this euthanasia is for our own opinion, is for a choice that the people have, not only expect to death, expect in the in a bed of hospital, dying for the pain or dying for just to be connected to an equipment. So I think that it's a better opinion, it's a better choice to have one that just only expect to death. I want to, to add something to that. I think that there is no an easy option for anyone in both cases, because if you decide to, to go with euthanasia, um, someone has to take a decision that it's not an easy decision to take because it's the, the one that you love, that you are deciding, signing and letting him pass away. And also, if you decide or not, uh, let let him or she uh, or he uh, continue with life until the last moment. It's also a decision for the family or the ones that are close to to be prepared and to support him or her until the last day. So I guess that. Is not an easy option. Yeah, yeah. Teacher, but... we gave the conclusions. Okay, go, 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 go. go. <laughs> okay. Uh, Hello. Well, my my last opinion okay. about that is, uh, if something is in my hands, uh, I prefer to help to life and not to help to die. You know. That's my last opinion about that. Okay, hello everybody. Uh, how do you feel with these topics? Some of them were very controversial. Some of them were very sentimental. And some of them were like more for economical situation. How do you feel it? I feel very, very good. Well, but teacher, I, I like it. Huh? I like it. It was good. pretty interesting. I, I can learn. Yeah, um, teacher, I, I, uh, talking with the, the, with the group, with the Caroline and Jenny and Georgina, and, and say that, uh, thank you for sharing me a lot of fluency and speaking, um, very fast. I'm going to try to speak, uh, with that heard. Um, I guess this is the, the main of the, the topic right is not that dispute but right one minute one minute one minute one minute uh, and it, 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 the, the survey is starting again and i guess is the the share the knowledge or the hear the somebody else as a group is uh, is a good thing for the for the uh, listening uh, right. english as a second language that's Thank right you. and unfortunately you were not fighting i was expecting is expecting more like blood in this situation though, but I really appreciate that you are uh, so nice. You respected the, the the opinion for the other person, even though your position was different, or even though uh, you disagree with the topic that I gave you, you followed the rules. I really, really appreciate it for all of us, all of you. So the next week, I'm gonna have similar activities that you can express for more time about what you think. I have one in mind, but I'm going to tell you until the next week. So um, you're going to see the grades uh, maybe on Sunday because I need to check them, but I'm not going to do it tomorrow. Tomorrow is party time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, when, when we're when we're going to see the 10th? Uh, the, the grade? On Sunday, the grade, on the 10th. My 10th, where is going to? On, on Sunday, Sunday I'm, going to, I'm going to see my 10th, okay. Yeah, because <laughs> Saturday, party time, so... In the morning, I'm gonna teach. At night, I'm gonna dance. So I'm gonna be a little bit busy after that. So maybe almost at night on Sunday, okay? Okay. <laughs>
<laughs> so it really was a pleasure to talk to you. So next week, you're going to tell me what you have done during the weekend. So I wish you the best and have a good night. Okay. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Good night, teacher. Good night. Have a good Have a good week. Bye. 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 Bye.